Hi guys, okay, quick video today. It wasn't really planned, but I thought while I have it, let me do it. So um, I've done a few sets of headphones in the past. It's not, it's not really my thing, but it is part of audio and I do enjoy them now and then. Gaming headsets, because I game. Most of you guys also game. So something I've always used is the Steel Series. Um, you know, these, these aren't super expensive, but they do what you want to do and their sound quality is good. This one is wired, so I plug it into my PlayStation 5 controller or the Xbox controller. But um, I've been doing quite a bit of online gaming with my son and my wife wanted to get involved as well. So she wanted a headset. So I said, okay, you can have this one. Let me get myself a proper gaming headset. So this is the new... Um, Hypersense, the Kyra Pro from, um, um, this is Razer, Razer, correct? Yes, the Kyra Pro from Razer, um, was not sent to me, had to buy this with my own money, no special discount, so a completely honest review on this one. Um, why did I go for this? I've been absolutely mesmerized by haptics ever since the playstation 5 where it's not just force feedback it's haptic where you have resistance on the controller it matches what you're seeing on screen so this also has haptic in the headset which you can adjust it's the hypersense intelligent haptics which um i think is going to be absolutely awesome i'll let you guys know when i actually test them out um, these are also wireless and they come with the USB-C dongle that you can use um, PS5, PS4, PC and mobile. I don't know if it works on Xbox as well, I'll test it out. There's a lot of different stuff in the box to make this work on a lot of different things. Um, so also why I went for this is eventually I want to get myself, I'm also into a lot of sim racing. Um, I want to get myself uh, the proper VR2, PlayStation VR2, and use this with that. So I've got the proper force feedback, haptics, everything. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so I'm not gonna bore you all this stuff on here. Um, basically, Triforce Titanium 15 millimeter drivers, Razer Smart Switch. Um, you can change the RGBs on the headset itself. Just a whole bunch of stuff to your warranty, but let's get into it. I wanna compare because these are at the upper end of gaming headsets at about 4,000 Rand for this set. This was about 1.5. So this is more going towards the upper end. But that being said, if I compare them to the high-end stereo headsets um, that I sell, this is quite cheap. Um, the Bowers, the Clips, all of those are much more expensive and much more premium quality. So I want to compare that to those to this and I'll let you know what the differences are. I wish those guys would actually make a gaming headset. I guess it's not their target audience, but how cool would it be if someone like Bowers and Wilkins comes out of a premium headset? I'll actually do my homework. I want to see if they've never done that, but according to my knowledge, they haven't. It's always been the guys like Razer and Steel Series that do the, the premium headsets. Um, and then they sort of still make it so it's premium sound, but affordable to the masses. But okay, let's get into this. Let's see what is in here. So firstly, just opening it up there is there's no bag or something. It's just like a box that's been padded out of this foam. It's sitting in the foam. Let's take it out. So I love the white. The white goes with the PlayStation, PlayStation 5 theme. These can swivel nicely. It's quite tight if I look at it now, but I think these still need to wear in. Um, quite like the aluminium plastic but then you've got this aluminium detailing in here and that is proper it's cold so it's proper aluminium in there so that's quite nice um razor engraved at the top got the logo on the side that lights up here we have our microphone and our volume switching between the bluetooth and on the other side oh, that's for the talkie this is microphone there so you have your, your audio for the, for the music that you're hearing and the sound effects, and you have different ones here for the microphone, it looks that like. There is your power on and off, there's your USB-C, and there is for the microphone itself, so it's detachable. So I quite liked on the Steel Series that this was retractable, because I could just do, 
do that if I'm going to be gaming online and put it away if I'm just doing normal gaming, which was quite comfortable and nice. I've had these before where they screw in. Um, you always sort of lose them because you take it out, you put it somewhere, and where do I put it? Now I want to do online gaming, I want to find it. So not a fan of this, um, but it is what it is. Okay, so the ear pads themselves, it's got like a little synthetic leather around the side with cushioning in there. And inside it's got a nice blue touch on the cushioning over the driver itself. Um, we on these, these are just foam. These were very comfortable, but comparing to these, these look slightly... Let's, let's, let's see the fit, let's see the fit. So left and right, that's left, that's right. quite snug it's quite snug I can hear my voice is sort of can't hear myself you know that sound but my ears are fitting nicely into it feels a bit snug around the ears I'll let you know if that does get uncomfortable with gaming over time these I must say fitted over my ears slightly slightly better but they weren't cut as good as this um, and we all like a good cut <laughs> these fit very nicely i really like it i just want to see if that's going to hurt your ear pushing over over time um, and i'll just get my sizing fit i think two clicks on both sides yeah that's about me that's about me okay let's see what is in the box rest in the box so in here they just pushed up there we have this is, it's an extension for the USB-C. There's the microphone in question. So this, this is what I don't like that much. I don't know why they do this. Is it a higher, I guess, I'm guessing it's a higher quality microphone because it looks much bigger. And also, so just push in there. Yeah, snug fit. Let's see it now. Okay, this is quite nice. Just gonna have to put it somewhere not to lose it. But you can see it's a much better quality because this is just like plastic. So there's no um, muffling over to sort of take away the harshness of your voice and the surroundings. So I'm guessing people will hear you much better. I'll give some feedback on that as well. So yeah, I can see why this can't be retracted back into there because it's not going to fit. What else is in here? Here we have, uh, so this is actually the USB-C cable. This is the extender if you want something longer. And then I see hidden below this little, so the hidden, how do I get in there? How does one get in there? You see in there, the little dongle is in there, but this can't lift off, can it? No, it can't, that's properly glued in there. That's why just pull it out. Yeah, one just pulls it out. I must say, <laughs> not the best of packaging. Um, could have made this a lot nicer. But okay, so this is the US, oh, this is the USB-C dongle. Um, I'll show you how that works with the setup. Uh, for wireless and I think that's it nothing more I okay, guess just your manual just your manual in there um, little signed document that you can read so I'm going to be reviewing these mostly based on gaming but I'll also this being a audio channel review for I want to compare to some Thing is going in the top. I'm just going to put it on there. I want to compare it to some proper stereo headsets um, and see if it can hold up with the audio of the high premium stuff. Uh, I just want to see how close they can get. And then, you know, I really hope the guys like Bowers, Clips, especially Clips, being such a fun brand, bring us a nice premium McLaren edition um, headset. I know. Um, I'm not allowed to talk about those yet, so I can't mention that one, but it's not gaming. Um, it's just another race 
inspired headset that's coming from the premium guys soon but okay guys so that's my unboxing on these i'll set them up i'm going to do a bit of gaming with my son later that's why i quickly did this video and i'll let you know how these sound and how good the haptic works now talking about the haptic where do you adjust that oh i'm thinking one side is haptic and one side is audio we'll get into that i'll get into that in the review guys stay tuned for the testing on this headset Hey guys, let's get around to testing these. As you can see, um, I tested them. <laughs> they are phenomenal, but I will give you a run through now as I'm sitting there listening to them. You can see me playing. I'll try and tell you what I'm experiencing while doing it. Um, had them on charge here, so let me take them off charge. Must say, very nice. Once you get, once you get to grips with them and how if everything works. Um, let me quickly give you a run run through about all of that. So charge them up now. Um, I played them from out of the box about a whole a whole half an evening before we got to battery low. So the charge also wasn't high, so I can't tell you yet how far you get on a charge. But um, I have played around with the haptics. Love the haptics. The haptics, I would say, you have low, medium, high. For me, medium is a nice sweet spot. I tried them on music. So let's get to music first on these. They're not a set of headphones for music. It's not the quality you would get from a Bowers or a Clips. These I would say are primarily for movie watching or for games. Also the haptic, you can put it off. It's not for music. It does give you like a clubby vibe over it shakes your head, but it's a gimmick. It wears out quickly. You might be able to show your friends that, but this shines on gaming. As I'm going to go through the gaming now, I'm going to try and explain what's happening, what I'm feeling and how they are. Um, sound quality on them, you've got a few sound modes you can go through. Um, I, I went between amplified and there's an FPS setting. The FPS setting sort of, it lets you locate other players when it's quiet, the footsteps and stuff like that. The amplified just ramps it all up. Then there's a larger scale one, there's a more base one, and you can also do your custom ones. So with the app, you go in on your phone on the Razer app, and you can change the LED colors on the side. Um, let me show you. Let me just unlock my phone quickly. Let me go into the app. Another nice thing is if you connect them to Bluetooth, and you're playing a game and you get a call, you can pause the game. Okay guys, as you can see, I've got the headsets on now. Let me show you on the app. So your battery, your chroma effects, do not disturb your equalizer. There you can go through all the stuff. I've got mine on amplified, gaming mode, quick connect, stuff like that. So let me, let's jump into gaming and I can show you exactly how the gaming works on the headset. Okay, first let's jump into some Gran Turismo. If I do talk a bit louder now, I apologize because I've got the headset on. Let's jump into any track. Okay. So basically as the bass is playing now in the music background, I can feel the bass in the haptic. Exactly as you would feel the haptic on the controller, you also feel the haptic on the headset. So when you're shifting gears, you feel that if I shoot now, you can feel the wind as well. As it's coming past the car, you feel the wind. If you bump another car, you also feel that, like that. I can feel that bump. Stuff like that, it's very cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna quick on that. Um, where I felt the biggest difference on these gaming-wise 
was on. I was playing Returnal last night. This took this game, the headset took this game to a whole nother level. Already this game, audio-wise, is so involved, but as soon as you get the haptics, all the gunshots, all, even like Nat now, you can't hear, you can't hear what I'm hearing. But take my word for it, it is phenomenal. Um, like all those big bass atmospheric boom, um, you feel in the headset. And then if you fire all those shots, you feel it's, it's absolutely crazy. Just completely changes the way this game plays. Completely changes. These these are so cool, guys. I don't want to drag it out too long. Just wanted to do a quick demo on that. I don't want to go too long into the demo, guys, because you can't hear what I'm hearing. You need to go with what I'm telling you. But trust me, if you guys are in the market for a nice headset, um, this one is now for PlayStation, PC. Um, I'm not sure if it will work on Xbox. It's like the dongle. I might as well try it. But it does state... PlayStation 5 for PC and mobile. If it's for PC, I don't know why it would work for Xbox. I'm sure there's a reason, but I will actually test that. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal headset. Really love it. Changed my gaming to where it's so involved. Um, I just want to get into playing again, playing stuff that I haven't played. Let me just switch them off. Um, really love this. So guys, Again, these aren't for music. If you guys are looking for a headset for music, get yourself a Clips or a Bowen Wilkins or a nice headset for music. This is for gaming. Again, like I said, I wish they would make one for all so we can get a premium music headset for gaming as well. How is this compared to the Steel Series? I might almost say that the Steel Series audio quality for me was slightly better, but not by much. But this makes up in the rest of it. All the haptic features, the microphone is of a better quality. So all of that, um, I think these are the best I have tested by a long shot. Really love them. These are going to be take center place here. I'll get a nice headphone stand here for my games. Um, yeah, so that's my review on these. Hope you like them. Epic product. I would say 8 out of 10. Why not 10 out of 10? I would have liked the sound quality to be a little bit more because I'm used to the stuff like the Clips and the Bowers. I would like to have, have the sound quality up a little bit more um, and build quality. We can get them to a bit more premium level. Obviously, it's going to up the price, but that's the only reason why I'm giving it a 8 out of 10. Okay, guys, hope you enjoy this. Till the next video. Cheers. Bye.